For the first time in 30 years, dock workers here are on strike. What do we want? Yeah. When do we want it? Yeah. For the next eight days, 80% of the workforce at the UK's largest container port will be absent over pay. It's everyday living. It's if we don't catch up now, when do we catch up? We we need to make the stand now. Whatever the how this ends, this this dispute, whatever we gain, we'll be going on utility bills and more. So no one's coming out any winner in this. These workers say a 7% pay rise plus £500 isn't enough for a company making multi-million pounds in profit. The port says workers are being used as pawns disputed by the union. It's nothing to do with a national strategy or anything like that. It's something which has happened here at a local level and it reflects what's happening elsewhere because people all over the country, I think, are feeling the same way. That's why it appears to be, you know, perhaps it appears to be coordinated because people everywhere are feeling the same way and, and coming to the same conclusion. Enough is enough. We are not going to take this anymore. With a slowing economy and recession forecast, Paul Davey, speaking for the port, says they believe the payoff is fair. We pay £43,000 a year each average. That's 40% more than the national average. And I think that is a fair reward for them. You know, these are not all, all easy jobs, but then there's, there's, there's a lot of jobs that aren't easy that are on minimum wage. Absolutely, we agree they deserve a fair day's pay for a fair day's work, and I think that's what we give them. But an eight-day strike is going to hit the supply chain. 1,900 workers are striking here, which is having a direct impact on the port there, which is on the front line of UK trade. And right now inside, it's empty. No movement, no deliveries, in or out. And that means businesses like this, Adam's local haulage firm, are losing out. It's damning. I've been trying to uh, do the costs, and I think about 60, maybe £70,000 it will cost me this week. And, and why is it having such an impact on you? Um, because we heavily involved with Felix Topor. It's, it's a heavy percentage of all the business that we do. And um, if we can't collect our containers, we can't deliver for our customers, and we can't earn money, um, and it's going to be a very tough time. It's a familiar sight, and as the cost of living crisis continues to squeeze, it's here to stay. Adele Robinson, Sky News, Felix Stowe.